Finding dependable labor on the farmer ranch can certainly be a challenging task. One company, though, is on a mission to try to alleviate that burden for producers. When it comes to baling, there are certainly a number of man hours associated with the task of moving bales around the field. At the recent Nebraska Ag Expo, the folks at Vermeer were on hand at the new innovation hub. There they were demonstrating how their latest innovation is bringing robotics to the round bale. Well, one of the stars of this year's Nebraska Ag Expo is here at the Vermeer booth. It is called the Bale Hawk, and Kent joins us now to share with us the details of what's going on behind us. This thing, as I mentioned, star of the show. A lot of people want to know what this thing does and how it works. It is an autonomous bale mover, right? Share with us the details. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. So a lot of our producers and customers are saying it's, it's hard to find labor, you know, and then one of the things that are out there is picking up uh, bales, round bales out in the field. It's not the most fun thing to do. It's, it's not generally hard work, but it's kind of monotonous work that you have to do. And so we developed a machine that could uh, go out and, uh, in anybody's field, and uh, if you've got bales out there, it'll find them and pick them up and then stack them where, wherever you would like for the most part. So, so how does it find the bales? How does yeah. that system work? Sure, so we have a, a, a sensor suite on the front, but basically it's a, right now it's a LiDAR system. So it uses uh, some point cloud stuff and, uh, and uh, an algorithm to say, yeah, this is a bale. And then once it says it's a bale, we'll navigate to it, pick it up, and then go back to our normal scouring pattern. And uh, once we get three, we take it to the unloading spot and then go right back to where we stop. So the goal is it runs basically 24 seven and you don't have to be out there watching it. So. Where are you at with the development process? Of course, you have it on display here at the Nebraska sure. Ag Expo, but can people get their hands on one of these at this point? No, it's, it's a prototype, so it's not for sale uh, yet, but you know, we're getting closer uh, every, every, every season, every year, um, but you know, we're still, who knows yet. Uh, we're actively testing, could be one year, could be five years, I'm not real sure yet, but, but we are getting closer and uh, seeing a lot of interest here, so we're pretty excited about it. I'm curious, what kind of challenges, as you, you put that out in the real world and uh, moved three bales at a time, what kind of challenges have popped up? <laughs> oh, you know, it's... Um, Hard to say there. You know, weather conditions are, are an issue at times. You know, some of these sensors have to see through that. That's a, that's a big one. Dust can be an issue uh, in really dusty conditions. Been a pretty dry year, so you, those start to pop up once in a while. Um, but yeah, those are kind of the big ones. Just really getting the, the sensor package to work with the machine and, and, and be accurate, so. If somebody wants to learn more about the new technology that Vermeer is uh, investing in and uh, has some of these prototypes on display, what's the best way for them to do so? Uh, to be honest, we do have a, a Forge Innovations section, I think, in our website, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I hope our marketing department doesn't get mad at me if I said that wrong, but there is a section there that we actually do have the Bailhawk on there, and I think the ZR5 is listed there as well. So we do kind of show a few things in that area, but that's probably our best method. So Cool piece of technology on display here at the Nebraska Ag Expo. Kent, appreciate your time today. Appreciate it.